so the x is fine the circles fine the square is fine okay and I hope you heard but when I press it was very hard to press the triangle and seems a bit stuck hi everyone uh, today we have this X uh, this uh, PS4 controller uh, that uh, we did the unbox some time ago so I'll put a link here in the description for that video uh, and we will start with the with this uh, with this controller here is saying that is the the triangle is sticky so first of all let's try this and actually see if that is the issue or if there is something something more so I'm connecting then if you want to check these uh, the properties for these if everything works fine so you go to control panel and then devices and printers and it should detect eventually so i think it might be detecting now or i didn't plug it, it properly i think it should be fine okay i guess i was i didn't have it properly connected so you can see it here it appears here uh, and let's do properties and then uh, properties again and then you can see here the the, the old buttons so let's try all of them just to see if, uh, if everything is fine so let's the joysticks seems to be fine this one as well over here as well R buttons and L buttons are fine uh, what more these options good good uh, PlayStation button okay so now let's go to here to this part that where it was saying that had the issue here with the triangle so the X is fine the circles fine the square is fine okay and I hope you heard but when I press it was very hard to press the triangle and seems a bit stuck but um, the button itself it works you can see when I'm pressing the four uh, picks up over here so like like he's saying here in the controller itself it's uh, sticky uh, so how to fix this I would say first solution is not even open the controller just try to put here some IPA here in the side of the button and it will go inside and try maybe to put some paper over here and maybe try to clean it uh, but uh, that might work but as well usually this kind of thing it's uh, uh, the it's sticky underneath underneath the button itself uh, would be better than to open and fully clean but let's try both approaches and uh, and see what uh, what works best so we are back here to the table with the with the mat let's um, let's start to clean so what I use first is this uh, isopropanol IPA basically uh, and these uh, doesn't damage uh, any electronics part uh, actually it evaporates very very quickly uh, so so should be fine to use uh, in the electronics stuff so I will put here some some liquid here and uh, with the tooth toothbrush basically I just just uh, wet it and then what I try to do is just go inside here with the brush because it will fit a bit to the side of the button so so it should should clean at least some uh, this is the first method without if you don't want to open the the controller so it might work for you uh, this uh, this way so let's clean all of these quickly 
uh, I'll fast forward, I'll spend here some time cleaning, you will be able to see everything. So okay, now we can clean it for some for some time. You can see how it works better for you. Uh, it's still a bit wet, so uh, I don't feel anything sticky, but might be still inside. You know, uh, some uh, after it it dries, might still be something more. But this uh, might work for you so i will leave it here to to dry for some time okay i left it for about 15 minutes uh, let's see okay doesn't seem to be stuck at all seems okay the other doesn't feel quite right compared with the others the others seems more quick seems you know like a bit dirty inside still uh, so in this case we could just do it more you know just to see if uh, if it will work if you don't if you really don't want to open it uh, but my suggestion is always to open open because it's not hard at all uh, and uh, go and clean here very deeply because here this button presses in a plastic that actually what makes the contact to the board itself so this plastic uh, uh, might be um, might be very dirty and needs to be clean well might even be that the plastic is uh, is it uh, ripped apart so we are not 100 percent sure but if this cleaning uh, from the outside works for you so then you don't need to open but i will since I don't still feel it quite right, I will I will uh, open and uh, see what uh, what is inside. So I will skip actually all this part of disassemble because I have already a video where I disassemble a controller. So if you want to to know how to disassemble the PS4 controller, you can check this other video. I'll put here as well in the description. So let's uh, disassemble and right uh, jump to the part here of the buttons so see you in a bit okay we just uh, disassembled everything so now let's check uh, this side that where it was stuck so we just peel this off and if it's even stuck a bit over here so if we can see yeah and here it was actually the the triangle one you can see that it's dirty so just putting the as you see there is this uh, it's concave let's say uh, the plastic so even though we put the the ipa it always stuck here something so it doesn't go doesn't go away so that's why sometimes it, if it's just a little bit it will solve but uh, in this case that is uh, it's much more dirty then uh, then it will not go away uh, and we can take as well the buttons and you can see the button maybe you can see it a bit yeah it has here a bit of let's see if the camera will focus yes i think it's a bit here still dirty yeah so you can see here it even peels off some some dirty stuff so I've actually I'm not sure what happened because this is really uh, dark stuff as you saw in my fingers so um, what we need to do here is now to clean this very well uh, and I will do this one this side and actually I will clean all the buttons just in case the others doesn't seem so bad but they are still a bit dirty so since we open better to clean all of them 
uh, then to put the buttons you don't need to worry because each button has this uh, this part of the plastic here sticking out and each button you, will, you can see it's uh, it's different so for example this one it's a bit different the the disposition so they will just fit in one one socket over here and let's check the other side just in case okay so this as well it's the same <laughs> it's dirty okay so this is not so bad but it still has and we can take the button as well and we can clean all of these so what we will do here we will just let's see this one this one actually is fine um so i guess i will not need to clean this one but all the other ones and even here the these plastic sockets i will clean them up just to be sure and these buttons as well will fall all apart so let's take here to the side and should be okay uh, and uh, and yes so I will probably clean all of these and we'll fast forward of course I will need to clean this with isopropanol IPA uh, I guess you can find this in any store it depends uh, here in my country supermarkets don't sell this stuff uh, only the electronics shop but in another country that I visited, actually they sell it in um, in supermarket. So, so we might find it in supermarket. Um, so let's uh, clean this with some uh, with some Q-tips that I have here, plenty of them, and uh, and then let's check uh, let's check the result. Uh, we'll fast forward all this part cleaning because you know it always takes takes quite some time so let's clean it okay so i think it's kind of kind of clean actually i needed to vacuum clean all, all of this because it was really dirty uh, a lot of, of uh, black black stuff from from here uh, as well over here i needed to clean here these sockets very well because um, there was here uh, some uh, um, if it was soft drink it got dried and got stuck over here inside of the of the buttons so then it would be harder to press them or they would be stuck midway so and now i think it's much better at least it feels like so but uh, let's 
mount put everything back together again and test it and see if it will uh, work or uh, or not so i will f i will skip all this part of mounting so as well there is the video where i disassemble so if you want to to check it check that that video and then to assemble just uh, backwards <laughs> that process and uh, that's that should be it so let's mount everything back again put everything back in place and then uh, let's test it and see if it helps okay we have here the controller we assembled back everything back together so let's now connect it to the computer and let's check if uh, if now it improves so let's come to control panel again devices and printers open it should appear over here game controller settings and properties okay so the issue was the triangle so while pressing you can see number four it's appearing and now actually it's not stuck anymore or the it gets even better than when we just clean it from the from the outside so so no feeling no 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 sticky or anything like that and other buttons everything seems fine okay as well so let's double check all the other buttons if everything is fine seems it is so no issues over here this fine okay so so it seems that uh, that uh, this is this one is fixed so like i said in the beginning of the video uh, you have here two options or you can uh, just try to soak this with the ipa and hopefully it cleans it if it in some cases that is just a little bit of uh, of uh, it was spilled just a little just like very very little uh, liquid then should be fine uh, to soak it and uh, and that's it and as well if it soaks uh, sorry if it uh, spills here some some kind of drink try to clean it right away because if you leave it for longer then it will uh, it will dry up and then it will stuck here in the as you saw in the socket of the of the button so it will stuck there and then it will be much harder to clean so that's why when we open it uh, in this case you could we could see that it was uh, there stuck some some like the the dried liquid let's say after it dries then it gets sticky and it sticks to the to the socket to the button and uh, you saw to the to the plastic of the why when we press the button against the the board so for now this is it hope this uh, this video helped someone uh, I would suggest always to disassemble just to be sure that everything cleans but if you don't want to disassemble and soaking it uh, solves the issue then then should be fine. So thanks a lot for, uh, for watching, please like and subscribe and uh, see you in the next one.